Um, have you guys had a lot of solar guys come out here trying to sell you? Thousands. Yeah, I, I can't imagine. That must be really frustrating. There's no way that we replied positively to having a solar company check out our house. But I don't get it. What do you mean? So we're, we would add panels to the roof that we would own, insure, and maintain for you. Oh, You're not, those are solar? Friendly, friend me, enemy. All these next next just wanna be a mini me. All these next next just wanna be a mini me. All these next next just wanna be a mini me. Friend me, friend me, enemy. All these next next just wanna be a mini me. All these next next just wanna be a mini me. So last night we were all at Moonshine Beach here in San Diego, and we found a punching machine where you put in a dollar. Being the men that we are, and he gets the record. In doing so, he sacrificed something. Read the record twice. I needed to beat it a third time, and then the third time I missed it by like hitting too like up, and I hit the metal part. And you know, I'm gonna tell my brain to heal this tonight. I'll be ready to go tomorrow, <laughs> so I'm good. He's just gonna put a little icy hot on it. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll buff out. <laughs> First BJJ competition, and uh, we got the dub, baby. We got the dub. All right, let's get out of here. I want some ice cream and go to the beach. The I need to think about it was something you already said in advance, way earlier on. You said, I need to figure out a lot of things. I'm here to ask some questions, but the goal is to schedule a site inspection. So when we set up that system, and we set up this frame, and we have our pamphlet, and we go through each individual question, that's us controlling the frame. If a customer comes out hot and heavy towards you, and they're aggressive towards you, we can control these frames. How do we do that? All right, hey, we're gonna role play some difficult customers, a little bit of pushback. Um, I'm gonna show you how we can reestablish frame control every time, okay? Program that allows you to get a reduction on your bill. You know what I'm talking about now, right? Yeah, can, can you just make, get to the point here? You know what I'm talking about, right? What, the panels? Yeah, we, it doesn't make sense to buy panels. Yeah, our, cool, our great. Yeah, well, dude, this involves you. You should probably know about it. Your taxes help fund all of this, and so, you know, taxation without representation, I'm sure you want to know. Yes, it's meant to grab your attention, grab your frame. And if you've done frame control properly, the person that's inside the frame, like, like a person inside a picture, isn't aware that they're inside the frame. Now, I told, I asked you people to please stop coming. Yeah, you guys have a lot of solar guys come out here a lot. No, there's no way that we replied positively to having a solar company check out our house. Gotcha. Do you typically do your billing online or in the mail? It depends on how you got it, the I'm notice. Not sure. But no, thank you. Please. Gotcha. Yep. And any constructive criticism or feedback, I'm happy to hear it. We broke the ice. Just like a polar bear. Any cars in the driveway? Okay, younger couple, let's go. Oh, they have solar already. Yeah. <laughs> this entire street is all old people. Everyone's in their 70s on here. I mean, it's not outdated, but let's just keep trying a couple more. Telltale signs, no solar, no red placard on the meter, no conduit on the roof, which means I conduit. <laughs> God, there's just so many old people here. Jesus Christ, there are so many old people here. There are so many old people here. There are so many old people here. You try, you ever try selling like a 78 year old on solar? All right, you got shotgun. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. No place. You got shotgun. <laughs> oh, really? All right. See how see how different these houses are compared to where we were just at, right? And this place has definitely been hit. They have been knocked, I guess, maybe five or six times already. And they said that you know three people a day would come, which they're probably over exaggerating, but let's make a number four. Though, this may, maybe it's a bad credit. <laughs> one more, one more door. The power of one more. Just when you feel like giving up, you do one more. Hey, how's it going? Hey, just a quick question. I just want to make sure I was in the right place. Uh, is this the Evangelista residence? Uh -huh. Is it with solar? <sighs> yeah. Is it, well, phase one already happened out here. SDG replaced the meter on the side of the house. It used to be an analog, but now it's a smart meter. 
Uh, do you remember that? Yeah. Okay, are you, are you from here? I don't want to bore you with things that you may already know. Yeah. Um, have you guys had a lot of solar guys come out here trying to sell you? Like thousands. Yeah, I, I can't imagine. That must be really frustrating. But we're good though, thank you. No, real quick, I'm not here to sell you panels. Oh. A lot of people come out here to try to sell and lease you panels, but this entire neighborhood is a low power usage community. Mm -hmm. I mean, if your bill isn't super high, it does not make sense to shell out exactly. 30 or 50 grand, right? And put on the liability when you try to sell the house. And it drops that bill that you're getting from sdg &E, roughly 30 to 50% at a locked in rate. So you're avoiding the increasing penalty rates that you get from sdg &E. um, May not be able to help you. Do, do you know how much your bill currently is looking at? And then the first graph of your bill, you can pull that up. I'm gonna take a look at the meter on the side of the house. Is it, is it on this side over here? What side is our meter on? He wants to look at our meter, is that okay? Can you go out there with the marking? Cool, awesome. My name's Andrew, by the way, guys. Nice to meet you. I'll be right back. I'll meet you guys here in a minute. Cool. Hey. Hey, man, how's it going, Andrew? Nice to meet you. This is Garrett, by the way. Yeah. Cool. You're the homeowner here? Yeah. Got it. I don't want to play a game until if I'm not no, sure no, if you heard no, uh, anything. When SDG replaced all the meters, it used to be this analog, but now it's a smart meter so energy can go in and out of the house. Um, are you from here? Do, do you remember them doing that at all? This was it built in 2015. Yeah. Are you from the county in general? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they did that to all the houses here in the county because three years prior, we shut the major power plants out here, the San Onofre and the Chula Vista. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, we've just been in a massive power shortage in this county. I've been importing our energy from Arizona, sometimes Nevada. Yeah. Have you guys looked into solar before? Uh, not really. Yeah? No, I haven't been fully convinced yet. Gotcha. What's your biggest question you have about it? I don't. You don't have any questions on it? Gotcha. Hey, well, your tax dollars are going into programs that help fund people to get solar. Yeah, I have looked at, I have, I honestly was going to start looking into that because I've heard of that before. Well, yeah, my job is just really simple. I'm not sure if I'll be able to call, you know, help you out or not. Um, but I, all you need to do is just take a picture of this graph right here. This shows me how much you're pulling off the grid, right? And then when you look at page three of your bill, right? So your neighbor here, their bill was 200 bucks. But it wasn't the power that's expensive. It's the transmission distribution. So their power was 132 bucks. And then to have it transmitted in a power plant outside of Phoenix was 41 bucks. Then running through the power lines to come here to power your house was only 83 bucks. So we cut that out of the way for you and put it 10 feet above on your roof. You put it 10 feet above on the roof? I think that's like a solid 30 feet, huh? What, then do, what, what would you put? But I don't get it. What do you mean? So we would add panels to the roof that we would own, insure, and maintain for you. Oh, you're not, those are solar? Yeah, renewable, yeah, solar. Oh, yeah. so you're, it's solar. It's getting right. rid of the transmission. Right, yeah, renewable, I mean, there's hydro, there's wind. Solar's the most popular one and most efficient one. This is all I got, dude. Because I don't it? have a login. Gotcha, okay, so that's helpful. Graph right here, because this shows us how much you're pulling on a yearly basis off the grid. And, this will sh and, that, and that way I can create some designs for you and see how much you're pulling on a yearly basis. And then I can drop off that customized savings report to you later on this week and show you if it makes sense or not to do. Are you guys uh, coming back to this area tomorrow at all? Yeah, I'll I can make a tomorrow. note. Yeah, I'll make a note to cruise over here. Yeah, I'll get, I'll get the stuff and get you tomorrow for sure. All right, right on. So I, I am interested to see my options there. Yeah, we, you know, we don't know what we don't know, right? I'm Andrew, by the way. Sorry, I'm so rude. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Marco. Marco, nice to meet you. All right, cool. Yeah, so I'll, I'll come over here, take a quick picture of the uh, graph. I'll get my drone up in the roof so I can just take a look at the roof and uh, drop off the results. See you later on this week. We'll coordinate the time, Marco. Appreciate you guys. Well, appreciate you. Thank you. And you catch up with you tomorrow. Yeah, All right, nope. enjoy the game right. tonight. Yeah. Take care, man. It's a like, we're just having conversations. We make friends for a living. That's what we do. We are out here making friends for a living. But sometimes they're not friends. You open the door and you see your enemy. You never know what you're gonna get yourself into. And they chose into. violence that day. <laughs> <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Dude, I don't know what it is, but I see this number all the time. Whenever I pay for something, whenever I look at the clock, whenever I see a license plate, always 23. I don't understand.